All right, Shalom. This is Har One by Nyasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say, Kaal Halayim, La Yahawa, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Harakah Kodash, Ma'amav. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Yeah, just something with my spirit, man. Um, I want to get this scripture real quick. Uh, Second Ezra, chapter 2, verse 27. It says, Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. All right? Now, to be weary, so the Lord is saying, Be not weary in what? In well doing. Don't be weary in doing this work. Don't be weary in, in keeping the laws to the best of your ability. All right, don't be weary in, in loving the brotherhood and your family the way Yahweh Shah would. All right, don't be weary in praying to the Lord. All right, so don't get weary in doing this work. Why? He said, For when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, so it's coming, the day of trouble, the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, and heaviness. That pressure that they're gonna be putting on everybody real soon, man. It, it, that they're already doing. Today is October first, where a lot of people are gonna be getting fired and have to resign from their jobs. Uh, the police, the departments, the military, the, the uh, medical field, due to these mandates, right? It says, uh, "What well, it says, others shall weep and be sorrowful." Okay, and it, well, sorrowful sorrow represents uh, being in a hellish condition. But the Lord said we're gonna be like we are to be as um, as Ariah, Hananiah, and uh, Mishael that were in the furnace dealing with uh, Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon. Now we're in the daughter of Babylon, and the furnace is the affliction. All right, and the sorrow and the heaviness. And adversity. All right, the Lord said He chose us in the furnace of adversity. Why? Be because uh, our faith is going to be purified. Now it says this. So others shall weep. So they're going to weep, man. Why? Because there's going to be a lot of death, lack of food, and famine. They, uh, uh, they're not going to. What scriptures say? Um, before the days come when thou shalt have no pleasure in them. I think it's Ecclesiastes 12. All right. So it's going to be a lot of weeping and, and mourning. People crying out to their idols. It says what? But others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry. Whew, big difference, man. So he's saying in the midst of all this that we see coming, the Lord says you're going to be merry, meaning like joyful. <laughs> Yo, you know what I'm saying? And have abundance. So and on top of that, you're going to have abundance. All right. Just like when we came out of Egypt, the Lord fed us with quails. We were in a strange land. We became a strange people. So the Lord fed us with a strange uh, fowl, which was the, the quails. And we had so much meat in abundance, man. And the water we had in abundance And the manna Alright So the Lord gonna take care of us man That's what we gotta wait on The heathens shall envy thee Man so the heathens are gonna envy The elect of Israel You're gonna be looking right at you Can't do what It says but they shall be able to do nothing against thee Saith the Lord Whew. So they ain't gonna be able to take nothing from you the angels are going to step in and start protecting uh, uh, the elect. The Lord going to give his angels charge over you. Right here it says this. My hands shall cover thee. What's that? Spiritual power, spiritual protection, angelic protection from the angels. Like a secret service. All right. So that thy children shall not see hell. So even your children and your household won't see the sorrow. You know, they'll see it happen to others, but they won't 
uh, uh, be caught up in it. They'll have they'll have the abundance as well with you. Your house will be taken care of like the Lord took care of Noah and Lot. Okay. It's crazy, man. I was just thinking. I'm like, wow, the Lord said the heathens are going to envy his hopeful elect. And they're going to have abundance and be merry in the midst of a collapse and famine and hell on earth. That's, that's, that's amazing, man. Now it says, 1 John 3 and 1, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, man. So we have to behold that, what type of love the Lord has, us, has for us, man. That's, that's a lot of love towards us to go through all this and pre to present us before him perfect in the image of his son, Yahweh Shai. That we should be called the sons of Yahweh. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew, if, it knew him not, right? All right. So, <clears throat> so the Lord doesn't know it. I mean, the, the, um, the world doesn't know uh, who the true men of the Lord are. But his sheep hear his voice. All right. And they know Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Beloved, now are we the sons of Yahweh. How through the Spirit, we uh, in Galatians chapter four it says, Yahweh have put, placed the Spirit of His Son in our hearts, calling out, Abba, Father. All right, and it do have not yet appear. See, now the next part is the manifestation or the um, the exaltation when we get glorified. It do have not yet appear. What we shall be, but 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 we know that when He shall appear, see, it's all about Yahweh Shai and His kingdom, and we are part of that. We shall we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. And every man that hath this hope in Him purifieth himself, even as He is pure. Right. All right. First uh, Corinthians two and six. It says, how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, man. So what? Perfect in faith. All right. Doing this thing that way it's supposed to do it. Correctly. Um, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. All right. These heathens and these... these uh, uh, Jake's wolves and sheep's clothing that come and go upon the earth but the Lord's word stands forever and so do his prophets they return upon this earth and they're in the same lot that they they, they were before all right but we sp but we speak the wisdom of Yahweh in a mystery even the hidden wisdom right because we represent the the hidden ones all right, because it's, it's still not known who his elect are. That's why we say hopeful elect. But the elect are his hidden ones, man, who have the hidden wisdom. All right, even though it's spoken in front of the world, out in the open, it's hid from them right in front of their eyes. Because the Lord has uh, uh, blinded them, blinded them. So which Yahweh which ordained before the world unto our glory, man. So it's like preordained. How through Jacob and Esau, the blessing that was put on Jacob, and with Abraham, all right, and Isaac, and also through uh, Yahweh Shah, him going on the cross, that sealed the deal, man. All right, so now it's a mystery that people can't understand. Everybody want to know who are God's chosen people, and it's starting to it's starting to be manifest uh, who they are. People starting to see it. A lot of people are waking up. And it's also being manifest who the uh, uh, the children of the devil are. All right, Esau. And that says, so he ordained it before the world unto our glory, all the way to the glory, unto the kingdom, to Yahweh Shai's kingdom, which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would not have killed, they, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. All right. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard. Wow, man. So you have never seen it in the movies. All the superhero movies you could think of. Everything that was done in the past. You know. 
uh, Marvelous X, The Deliverance Out of Egypt, whatever you could think of. It says, eyes have not seen nor ears heard, neither have entered into the into the heart of man the things which Yahweh have prepared for them that love him, man. And it begins now, you know, in the midst of uh, the heaviness and sorrow that's coming upon this place. The Lord said he's going to give you abundance and, and a merry heart and a sound mind and hope. Okay. So... So he has to prepare for the ones that love him, man. And, and, you know, this is love that you keep his commandments. And one of his main commandments is to have faith in Yahweh Shai. All right. And to keep the laws to the best of our abilities. It says, but Yahweh have revealed them unto us by his spirit, man. Through the spirit of truth, the Lord revealed it to us. And through that, we believe. All right. And we act upon that belief in faith and confidence and we go out and teach and we speak it says but Yahweh have revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit search of all things yea the deep things of Yahweh alright 2 Corinthians 4 and 13 we having the same spirit of faith right we all have the same spirit of faith that's what makes us perfect alright and our, our faith is being perfected um According as it is written, I believed, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore we speak. All right, so first you believe with the heart unto understanding, and then you speak. But you know, uh, uh, Romans 10 and 10, for with the heart, so with the heart, your mind, your love, man believeth unto righteousness so you believe unto the right way the believing is the separation from you believing in this or that or saying nah, nobody knows or we believe what we want no you believe meaning you you've been proven or persuaded that this is the truth and his name is the true name all right and the testimony about him about yahweh and his son yahweh shai for with the heart man believeth with your mind unto righteousness man and and what the mouth confession is made unto salvation see once you believe then you're able to speak your beliefs and that is, the Lord say um, uh, every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment for the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed so we're not going to be ashamed in that day man we're not, we're not ashamed now that's why we step out in boldness and confidence in the truth. All right. All right I guess I'll end it with this. Second Ezra 9 and 7 it says, And everyone that shall be saved, you know, and shall be able to escape by his works, man. So that's why the Lord said that. In the beginning, it said, What? The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing, you know. All right, he said you shall be merry and have abundance. So you should be able to escape. Escape what? The snares of the fowler, the traps that they got set. Esau's plans and their agenda. Because they about to bring the hammer down. It says you're going to be able to escape that by your works. The reward, man. Okay, his servants shall eat and be merry and have abundance. It says, my servants whom I, I have given thee shall none of them perish. Okay? But they shall be required from among that number. Man, ain't that something? The Lord gonna single you out out of everybody, the ones that believe. And by faith whereby ye, sh ye have believed. Alright, so everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith your confidence whereby ye have believed ye have believed so you got to show your proof now where is your proof all right shall be preserved from the said perils who the heaviness and sorrow and shall so you're gonna be preserved from it man protected all right to, to preserve it mean to save you from it to keep you for the kingdom 
and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning wow man see he already preordained it as I said earlier alright so yeah man um, so the heathen's gonna envy us man and that what you should meditate upon and, and pray to the Lord that he uh, that he bring Esau down and lift us up you know and bring in Yahweh Shai's kingdom J James 2 and 18 uh, actually 17 even so faith talking about the confidence alright you have to have confidence that the Lord is going to deliver you and that he's real you must first believe that he is and have confidence in that you what, what you're doing has a reward because he said that man he said um, don't be weary in, in well doing James 2 and 18 or 2 and 17 even so faith if it hath not works is dead being alone alright so you can't just believe and be in the house or just, you know not doing videos being a woman that's different you gotta at least pray you gotta keep the laws to the best of your ability but being a man you're supposed to be doing his work alright yea a man I mean if it's on you to be a prophet yea a man may say thou hast faith alright you might say you have faith and you talk a good game getting on the comment boards or whatever right you might say you believe or you have confidence that this is the truth have confidence in your belief and have works and I have works alright show me thy faith without thy works you know and I will show thee my faith by my works you see that thou believest that there is one God thou doest well so you you right for believing in Yahweh Bashim al Shai but the devils also believe and tremble alright so you know what makes you different from these damn uh, the, the spiritual demons that tremble in the Lord's presence but their acts are in wickedness so we have to have acts we have to have works with those with that belief alright faith is an action word alright um, but wilt thou know O vain man that faith without works is dead alright so I'm gonna end it there man it's, you know the Lord said what the heathen shall envy thee but she shall be able to do nothing one more alright Job 5 and, and 19 he shall deliver thee in six troubles man and we in the time of that six trouble he said when trouble and heaviness cometh others shall weep and be sorrowful but thou shalt be merry and have abundance and this is that trouble that he's talking about. And he shall deliver thee in six troubles. We in that time. All right. The time of the, the pale rotter. Revelation 6. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. Say by the seventh trump, the missiles is not going to even touch you. And not a hair on your head. You're going to be invincible by that. Say when you see him, you, you shall be as he is. By the time you see Yahweh Shai, you're already going to be... Uh, have um, been, been exalted to a certain level alright you're gonna be as he is and and in famine he shall redeem thee from death man and in war from the power of the sword man from the power of the sword what's that weapons guns knives whatever man missiles anything you know any weaponry scriptures say no weapon formed against thee shall prosper they got sound weapons they got mic microwave weapons you know all, all kind of stuff man but mainly them damn bullets the Lord said what that's uh, he gonna deliver you from the power of it so Esau's blessing is not gonna have any power against Jacob's blessing alright it says so no evil touch you man Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of the destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the field, man. All right, so the Lord said, What? You're going to be laughing and, and be merry, and the heathen shall be able to do nothing against you. All right. So. All right, Psalms 91 and 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side. 
and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh to thee. That's the day of salvation. When the elect get taken up into the chariots, all right, it's going to be mass death out here. Only with thine eyes shall thou see, and shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Man, to see that and behold that, that's going to be a scary sight, man. Because thou has made Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. This is the reward that's coming to you if you believe. And imagine, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. All right, because they're even talking about um, Esau releasing more plagues upon the earth. Okay. And the Lord said all the plagues of Egypt are going to be on this place. <laughs> but it didn't come to it didn't come upon uh, uh, Moses or the ones that uh, believe Moses all right the children of Israel it, it, it fell upon the Egyptians <laughs> and in this case Esau and a lot of these Jakes they're in the mindset of the Egyptians okay um, it says because uh, therefore for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways, man. Spiritual power, man. Spiritual protection from above. It's going to keep you on all your ways, wherever you at. They, uh, they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. I mean, that's when they, uh, they're going to keep you in all your ways, protect you down here on the earth all the way up until the glory the day of salvation and they're gonna bear it they're gonna snatch you up into them chariots beam you up and, and you're gonna have faith in that you're gonna be you know it's gonna be way up into the sky man but you're gonna have faith that you're not gonna fall you know that's the first thing we think being humans is like oh shit we're going afraid of heights but uh, the, through the chariots we're gonna have confidence all right and it's gonna be scary, man, because it's gonna be fire, explosions at the same time. But it says what? He gonna give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands. All right, so they're gonna pull you all the way up to the chariots and grip you, <laughs> most likely, man. Lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. All right, that's gonna be their job to make sure nothing happens to you. Another hair on your head shall be touched. And that once it's once it's known who the who the elect are, for um, they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Okay. Um, I mean, uh, thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. That's talking about the the young lions, the military. That's in the, once you go into the kingdom, and the Lord brings you back down upon this earth, you're gonna be a uh, his, his soldier. Okay. Um, they're gonna tread upon the adder. That's their damn ships out in the sea, the navies. The young lion that represents their uh, villages, what you call suburbs or homes. And the dragon. You know, scripture say you're gonna dash their, their children against the, their head against a stone in the kingdom, in Yahushua's kingdom, man. Because every, they're gonna be judged. We might not want to do it. But in that day, the Lord gonna put the spirit on you and make you do it, man. It's gonna be a judgment that you're gonna have to uh, give out. All right. Uh, it said, uh, where was that? And the dragon shall thou trample under foot. That's the damn the witches and warlocks and all these damn preachers and shit. What you call um, and, uh, Esau's whole uh, system and setup gonna be trampled underfoot because he have set his love upon me right because you have set your love upon the Lord therefore he I will deliver him I will set him on high because he have known my name man okay because you know the Lord and the, or, or I've known of the Lord the Lord is gonna set you on high one day we don't even know what that means how can you know to be to be scripture say I have not seen the ears that have, have not heard what the Lord has prepared for them that love him 
right? And to be set on high, we don't know what that really is yet. We have an example of it in the kingdom of King David, and um, and see how high Esau is lifted up, but there's no comparison to to where Yahweh is lifted up on the right hand of the Father. Okay, and Yahweh prayed that we could be where He is on the right hand of the Father as well. He shall call upon me. And I will answer him. So you got to know who to call on in that day. And the Lord going to answer you, man. Can you imagine that? You praying and praying right now. But one day the Lord is going to answer you. Boom. Like instantly. He's going to scare the shit out of you. <laughs> you know? Um, and I will answer him. I will be with him in the trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. All right. So with that, with long life, Will I satisfy him, man? So after that, the Lord going to give you long life, putting the laws in your inward part, in the new body, where you'll live forever. However long forever is, you know, eternity. It says, and show him my salvation. So you're going to see the salvation. All right, so hey, man. Now you see, the, man, the heathen going to envy that. Esau going to envy that, man. The blessing of Jacob, especially them damn elites. They're going to say the Lord has done wonderful things for them. <laughs> All right. So with that, man, we'll get back to work and say, uh, hey, Shalom. And hopefully this was edifying and um, just some encouragement to uh, any brothers and sisters out there. All right. Shalom.